What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you a brand new piece of software from NVIDIA called Chat with RCX. You'll find a link to this in the description down below. I'll show you how to install it and of course, how to use it. What exactly is it? Well, you've probably used chat models before like ChatGPT, Gemini, etc. But this runs on your PC. If you've been following my channel for a while, you've probably seen generating images on your PC and even text using other free downloadable things. This is a demo from NVIDIA themselves using models that are pretty highly respected today to give you a chat interface that you can interact with. And of course, this thing can interact with your documents too, so you can question it on a bunch of documents in a folder. It's simple to install and simple to get going, but there are a few requirements. On this page, you can click System Requirements. Where scrolling down, you'll see you'll need Windows, 16 gigs or more of RAM, Windows 11, driver 535 or later, and you'll need an RTX 30 or 40 series graphics card or RTX Ampere or Ada generation with at least 8 gigabytes of VRAM. For most people with newer graphics cards for gaming and stuff like that, you'll probably be able to fill this requirement if you've bought one of these graphics cards. I luckily have, so I'll be able to use this. Do keep in mind if you want to use a AI chat bot that you can chat with hosted on your PC, you can do so even without a graphics card using just your CPU and your RAM also completely for free. Not to mention on top of this, you can use all the graphics cards too, just as long as you have enough RAM. Anyways, that's for a different video, or of course one that you'll find linked down below. This one is focusing on chat with RTX. In order to download it and install it, head across to the page in the description down below and choose download now. It'll be a giant zip file that you download at around 35 gigabytes. When this massive zip file is done downloading, extract the folder inside of it, and of course, delete the actual zip itself to save yourself a bunch of space. When it's done, opening the folder, we have setup in here. Simply open it, and you can install it much like you do any other NVIDIA piece of software. You need to install Chat with RTX, and optionally, you can install Mistral 7B int 4. This is one of the models that we can use. I'd recommend you keep this one chosen, as it's a really good model. We'll choose next. Choose a place to install it. Now you can choose where it goes. For me, I'm fine putting it here. Next, and we'll wait for it to install. After it's finished installing, which can take quite a while, this whole process up until now has taken about 40 minutes for me, I'll be able to launch it and click close. Sweet. Now the program will fire up. Of course, you can delete your downloaded folder here to save some extra space and wait for it to start up. This will start downloading the final little bits of it and in another around three gigs of downloading, it'll prepare everything and eventually start up. That is, of course, unless you get some kind of catastrophic error. For me, I got some weird CUDA error the first time running it through and restarting the app didn't help. I had to reboot my entire PC, but when I did, I was able to launch up the program and now you can see that it's working as it should be. So if we go ahead and control click this here in terminal, otherwise you can select it by just dragging around it, right clicking to copy, we can then open it in a browser. Once it opens, you'll see something like this. We can choose an AI model. Currently there's just Mistral in this. I've seen Llama 2 somewhere. Not sure why that's not included here, but anyways, let's quickly run through what this thing is capable of. After we choose a model and choose a data set folder, we can ask it some questions about this data set. If I open this up, you'll see a bunch of text documents in here, all with information about different things for NVIDIA. We can go ahead and ask it anything, such as some of the prompts here, and it'll very shortly after give us a response using just our graphics card on our system. Now I'm running a 3080 Ti and it seems to be relatively quick, so it'll type out the response and even give you a quote to where it found the information. You can click on it to open it up, etc. Sweet. We can undo, regenerate response, clear chats, etc. It's everything you'd expect. What is NVIDIA cooking up? Apparently DLSS 3.5, blah, blah, blah. This is where it came from. Sweet. You can punch in any URL over here just by clicking change folder path and you can choose anywhere on your system. This is of course self-explanatory. Choose a folder with a bunch of text files, PDFs, or even .doc files and you can query your system to learn more about what's in that folder. The best part is, is that the files are linked for you to click them and find out exactly where it found that information. Sweet. We can also try YouTube URL and this is quite a fancy one. We can head across to a YouTube video. In my case, I'll pick one of my latest uploads and we can copy the YouTube link. It needs to be this long fashion, not right click copy this shortened YouTube.be. needs to be the full link as such. With this, we can punch it in here, click the transcript button and it'll process everything, learn about the video. Then shortly after, we can query it. So what is the video about? It tells me that it's about an anti-cheat for Haldivers 2, etc. and links back to the video as reference. If we say, 
How was it done? Should hopefully give us some information about it. Yeah, it seems like it's telling us about the anti-cheat, which is pretty cool. Obviously, whatever you put in is what you get out. It's a chat model, much like any others. Of course, you can put in anything here about the video. Say, summarize the video into 10 points, and it should hopefully give us 10 points about it. It misspelled anti-cheat there, but I'm pretty sure that's probably how it's spelled in the transcript that it got from YouTube. Obviously, YouTube transcripts aren't perfect, and this is probably one example of it. But anyways, you get the point. You can put in a YouTube link and learn about it. Obviously, there's tools like this, such as ChatGPT, that you can use for free, etc. But this runs on your own system. That's great. And finally, AR model default is just the AR model. So what is AI model default? And it'll tell us basically it's just the model itself. So we can interact with Mistral as is. So is this great? Is it bad? Well, to be honest, it's okay. You can already download and chat with tons of AI models using other existing pieces of software, such as Uberbooga Desktop, which I've covered previously. It's easier to download extra models into that, more customizable, uncensored models even. But the way that things are packaged here as a demo, it's a great place to get started if you have no idea what you're doing with Python, etc. It does it all for you, sets it all up, download one big file, and poof, there you go, you can chat with NVIDIA RTX, I suppose. Having the ability to interact with documents in different folders, understand YouTube transcripts and things like that, it's cool. But of course, it is done elsewhere. For example, YouTube transcripts can be read through and processed on ChatGPT for free, Google Gemini probably, and tons of other websites that do exactly this for free. But of course, this is using your own hardware and of course, completely private for that reason. While you could technically copy a transcript into Uberbooga Desktop and work with it there, I suppose it's just a little bit nicer to punch in a URL here, for example. It complained about using short links in console somewhere here, though I can't find it now, something about couldn't download download. Let's see up here. Yep, couldn't do it. Regex search didn't understand what this short link was. A bit disappointing is right click copying links is kind of a basic thing from YouTube. So all in all, it's a cool demo, but that's pretty much all that it is. You can get much more usability out of different models using Uberbooky Desktop, for example. It's a cool tech demo. It's nice that it's made by NVIDIA, so hopefully it'll be supported with a huge amount of money behind it, but that's all to be seen, to be honest. This is just a demo in its current state, and it's pretty good for what it is, I suppose. If you want something more functional, more functional things do exist, and you'll find them linked down below, for example. We can close out of it by clicking the shutdown button. It tells us we could restart to chat with it, and that's pretty much that. Anyways, do chat down below. I'd love to hear what you think about NVIDIA chat with RTX. Is it just branded garbage, or is there some more use to it that I'm maybe not seeing? I think it's pretty cool to have something like this put as simply as possible for people who've never messed around with this kind of thing. It's a great way to get started if you'd like to learn more about using AI on your own system if you've never done it before. But anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.